Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill and I have another part of our living room makeover. But first of all, before I get started, if you have not seen the video where we took this wall to this, then you want to start here at this video and then come back and watch this video. All right guys, so this video is officially the video of doing our TV wall. And what I can't believe, my mind is so blown watching this old footage back. What I can't believe is how much bigger this wall looks now that we have put stuff all over it. Like cabinets, shelves, everything. It actually looks huge now compared to what it looked like in this state where it was just a dresser here with some carts like I had homeschool stuff everywhere and it was just a mess all the time you guys and I love to hide things that we need so like we have a whole bunch of stuff for homeschool I like to hide it I don't like to see it I don't like clutter clutter stresses me out it raises my anxiety levels and it's just not good for me to visually see all of this stuff all the time so I like to have it hidden but in an organized way and that was impossible with the way we had our living room set up before so that is when I had the idea to take this dresser out of here get cabinets from Home Depot put a countertop on them and add shelves around the TV now we originally planned on doing this project 100% by ourselves um, but it just kept dragging out it was taking way too long my husband works full-time he just did not have the time to put into this project it was in a like in between stage for so long that we finally decided to hire our friend from church who is also a contractor to finish this project for us and once he started he had it done in less than two weeks and that was the best money I ever spent let me tell you but anyway let's take a little trip down memory lane so obviously the first step was getting all of this stuff out of here so I could bring in the new cabinets that I bought so what my vision for this area was cabinets going all the way across the whole length of this wall that will hold all of our homeschool stuff and then I wanted shelves going up the walls around the TV and even up above it over on top of the TV so I just wanted basically this whole wall to be usable storage space but also to look cute at the same time I did not want it to look like an eyesore I don't want to see all of my homeschool clutter I hate all these cords everywhere so I wanted the cords hidden so anyway I kind of drew up my idea and presented it to my husband and then he was on board so we got to work on it all right, so these are the cabinets I bought. These were, I think they're like Hampton Bay, um, pretty cheap, unfinished cabinets from Home Depot. They are made for a kitchen. Okay, so when I first got these both in here and got them put against the wall, I was honestly having major regrets. It looked so huge. It seemed just, it just was not like, I was having trouble like envisioning um, this coming together the way I had pictured in my head and I was really scared and regretful and just like oh my gosh did I make a mistake this is too huge and everything and I was kind of freaking out but I am so glad you guys it came out so good I can't wait for you to see it okay so now it's like a month later this these cabinets have been here for about a month I've still been utilizing the storage even though they're not finished and um, now I have to move everything and put everything in a really weird position so that our contractor can come and do our window wall which is in the living room makeover part one video that I put up so um, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go watch that. Um, we transformed this wall that you see the door on right there and the air conditioner, and we have beautiful windows put in it. Um, so anyway, he's 
still working on the window wall in this part, but I needed to get some of this stuff out of his way because he's going to be putting a wall treatment on the window wall and it's going to need to butt up to the TV wall. So I had to remove this stuff. I was going to remove it anyway, but I needed to remove this stuff this day so that he could come and work. Um, so that's just what you're seeing here. And then the TV wall looked like this for a long time too. And oh my gosh, I couldn't stand it. Like part shiplap and part sponge paint. And yeah, it just, it looked awful. And then whenever people came over, they thought I was in the process of sponge painting my wall. And I'm, I'm like, no, this is really old. I've had it covered up and now part of it's exposed and blah, blah, blah. It was just a real, a real hard thing to look at for a while. Okay, so this was after the window wall was done now and I was putting these back into place and arranging my living room better. But at this point, we still couldn't decide if we were going to center these cabinets on the wall or if we were going to split them up and then try to figure out something to put in between them so that we could utilize more space. Alrighty, and here we are again a million years later, and I am finally removing the rest of this old shiplap so that I can remove all the nails out of the wall and everything, and we are finally going to be putting up the new paneling that we bought for this wall. What you do Well, I guess I lost the footage of me painting this, but here is the first coat of paint. up close so that you can see it is shiplap vertically it's hard to see it from far away but I want the level on my quad it's gonna look so good and when your daddy is an electrician and you're 11 years old you're gonna be starting to learn electrical around here because this household teaches life skills
I was so excited to see the last bit of that sponge paint get covered up. You guys have no idea. I was so excited for that part. But anyway, so here we are. We're finally done getting these panels up. The last thing to do on this is to like patch the nail holes and paint it. And then I'm so excited, but coming up next is getting out the countertop and opening that up. So what I did for the countertop is I got butcher block counters from Home Depot. They are also meant for like a kitchen mostly. Um, but I decided to get butcher block for this because I love the look of it so much. And it was a nice and expensive way to get a really long countertop for this area. We did have to get two pieces. So we got two six foot counters. Um, and then the cabinets are both five feet long. And so we were still going back and forth whether we were going to sandwich these cabinets together or spread them out and do something in the middle. Um, uh, so we were waiting on cutting the counters. Um, thankfully, I'm so thankful we waited on it because we still did not know at this point that we were going to end up hiring someone to finish this project for us. But I'm so glad that we didn't cut the counters because we did end up being able, we were able to spread apart the cabinets wall to wall and then our contractor friend who finished this project for us was able to build a cabinet like in between that still is like, he like made it all one piece if that makes sense. Okay, so after this part, this project was just sitting and sitting and sitting and not ever getting done and Rich just did not have time to do the rest of it um, and so we ended up hiring our friend Bruce who is a contractor to just come and finish this project for us so from here on out the video is going to be Bruce um, finishing it up and he got it done so quick you guys he got it done in like eight days so here in this part, I am just emptying out all of the cupboards because the next day he was going to come and get to work. Christmas lights are on. This is where we kept all of our homeschool stuff for a couple weeks until I was able to put it all away and organize my new cupboards. So this is where we are at after day six. Today will be day seven. He's coming back today. Um, so today he'll be trimming out these shelves. So all that will be like trimmed out nice. And then this edge has to be trimmed out. I'm whispering because my kids are sleeping. He's gonna turn that into a cupboard that will hold like the speaker and the switch and the DVD player and stuff. Ouch. Okay. So, and then baseboard. Everything is pretty much completely done on here now. The only, so we got the hardware on. The only thing left to do is my husband is going to hide the cords now. So that's what he's gonna do right now. The final step. There's little Miss Kitty Kitty. Little Miss Kitty Kitty. 
Alright, so here I am just putting together a couple bookshelves that I ordered for inside one of the cabinets. Um, at this point, I have pretty much filled everything up and organized everything and put everything in a home. The last step was this little bookshelf um, so that I could keep all of our chapters chapter books corralled in there um, and it's almost reveal time also these were super cheap affordable bookshelves on Amazon they were $15 each but they had to come in blue if I ordered all white they were 25 Okay, so this is what it looks like after a typical school day, but I'm cleaning it all up nice so I can give you guys the final reveal. All right, here she is. Look how gorgeous she is. All right, so right now I just have some fall decor. I found these little tiny pumpkins in my storage and so I stuck them up there and then I have just random pumpkins everywhere. But pretty soon I'm going to be decorating this whole thing for Christmas and I'm so excited to do that. But let me explain to you how I have things organized in here to utilize this space for our homeschool stuff. All right, so first of all, in this little section, or in this basket, this is our like writing utensils and things, like scissors, staples, glue, crayons, erasers, things like that. So the kids are always grabbing that whenever they need that. Um, and then this is my two youngest daughters' um, reading lessons. So Aubrey and Stella both are doing reading lessons with a curriculum that has a lot of pieces. And so I have it all organized in this little basket. And then we listen to our science and our history on an audio CD. So um, we use this for that. And then over here, this is a basket where my kids turn in their work when they're done um, for the day. And then once I grade it and everything, I put it in here. So this is all of their graded like spelling tests and math tests and stuff like that. So that's what that is. Okay, so inside this cabinet right here, this over here in that little sliver that is uh, a writing curriculum that we use these are the chapter books these this is also more writing curriculum stuff and some teachers guides so I have some math teachers guides too um, but this is basically like my teachers guides that I have to grab when I'm grading things and then over here this is history and geography from one company that we use. We use another company too, and that's somewhere else. This whole top part is the older kids' medieval history, and then this middle section is the older kids' geography, and this bottom section is my little girl's geography. So that's this cupboard. And then in this cabinet, this is where my kids keep their iPads, and I'm going to be creating a charging station in here. See, I have the power cord right there. So all of their iPads can charge every night and still stay where they belong right here. And this right here is the cabinet that was not here and that he built to join these two 
cabinet things together and it is a place to hide all the eyesores. So we've got the tower speaker, we've got our Wi-Fi, we've got the video games and yeah and then all of the cords are in here as well. So got a big old mess of cords there but it's okay because it's hidden. And I absolutely love that there are no cords hanging down from the TV anymore too. Okay, so in this cupboard is all of the kids' school computers. And then over here, this is basically, this is like every single day heavy, heavily used things. This is Cade's bin, Briella, Stella, Aubrey. And then this is extra reading, um, reading supplemental stuff. And then down here is like flashcards and rulers and things like that. And then this is math stuff, flashcards, um, just anything math related is kind of over here and in there. Um, sorry for pointing with my foot. <laughs> um, okay. And then over here. This is more science and history. This is um, like this history that we use comes with the audio CD that we listen to and then there's like activity pages and things like that. And then I have science experiment stuff over here as well as our science textbook and also some geography as well. Okay, so this drawer we keep um, video game remotes and then this is my husband's junk drawer so when he gets home from work he kind of empties his pockets into here and keeps whatever his stuff is is in here so that's his junk drawer because it keeps it off the counter um, and then this is kind of remotes and DVDs this is a thing of DVDs this has a DVD in it too but yeah so remotes and DVDs and then this is my junk drawer and it's actually really junky right now, but like, yeah, like that's super random. But anyway, so yeah, super um, messy junk drawer. But like if I am looking for something, I'm like, oh, there it is. Okay, so anyway, that is how we have our homeschool stuff all organized now. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks really cute, and I am literally obsessed with it. It looks so good now with this window. Um, the living room's a mess right now. Sorry, it's Saturday. My kids are outside playing, and yeah, it's, it's a mess in here, but that's okay. So anyway... The TV wall with the windows, it all just came together so nicely and I am literally obsessed with it and yeah, I can't wait to decorate for Christmas too, but thank you. Here's a quick little before and after for you guys. So amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love it as much as I do. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.